Hello there everyone and welcome back. It's not Pokemon today. Today we're opening Flesh and Blood. It's a booster box of Uprising. So Uprising is the brand new set that just came out yesterday. Hopefully, if I get this video up on time. Came out Friday the 1st. Anyway. The reason I'm doing a box of this is because, well, it's a new set. And also, this is the first set from Flesh and Blood that is only being printed in Unlimited. So Flesh and Blood used to do it where they would print first edition and then they would print Unlimited edition a few months later. They did have some issues with this. One of the big ones that they mentioned was that a lot of the first edition print run was getting snapped up by investors and collectors very early on, and that left it so that their players were having a very hard time getting the cards that they needed to actually go and play in their tournaments. And they really wanted to avoid this, so for the last couple of sets, I think Everfest especially, which was uh, the, the set before this one, I guess the set before this one was History Pack, but that was a reprint. The last uh, new set for this one was Everfest, and that had a huge, huge first edition print run. The unlimited print run of Everfest hasn't actually come out yet, but you can still get first edition very, very easily. The boxes of first edition Everfest are almost the same price as uh, the boxes of unlimited for other sets just because they wanted to make sure that players were able to get this. So they solved the problem with this one by just doing an unlimited print run. So what are the big changes? If you saw one of my videos that I did back in the Cards Every Day in April, I showed you the difference between Cold Foil and Rainbow Foil, two different types of foiling that Flesh and Blood has. Cold Foil was a special foil that only appeared in first edition sets. So obviously with no first edition, they didn't quite do that. So what actually is being done here is that in addition to all of the foil, all of the uh, cards having their rainbow foils, as they normally would, some cards are also getting cold foils. And you're going to get a couple of cold foils per box, but they, instead of replacing a rare, as they would in Everfest and stuff like that, they actually replace a token. Now, the main reason for doing this is when you're playing Sealed or Draft of Flesh and Blood, you take the token out of the pack. You just discard it, you put it aside. It's not part of the cards you draft. So in this set, you're doing that with the cold foils as well. You're just taking them, they're yours, but they don't count towards your pick for the pack, and they don't count towards your draft pool, and that is to stop people having to value draft when you're drafting. Value draft is where you would say, okay, this card isn't going to go in my deck, but it's a $200 card. I'm not going to pass it to the next person, just have a slightly better card for my deck. You know, unless you're playing in the finals of a major tournament or something, and even then you might still take the value card, um, you're always going to take the money card. So the cold foils being the token slot is basically to make it so you don't have to do that. And I looked at my lines, I think there's about 30 different cold foils you can get in the set, and there are no cards that only come in cold foil. Um, all cards that have foils seem to have a rainbow version as well. There are some cards where special versions of them only have cold foils, like there are some extended art cards and stuff. That stuff only has cold foil, um, whereas the regular version with the non-extended art would have rainbow foil. Anyway, I am talking so, so much, I'm just going to open this box. We'll see some cold foils and stuff as we get to them. So, as I say, I think we're, we should be getting about one or two cold foils per box. And other big pulls for Flesh and Blood, there are Legendary cards, which are usually about one to two per case. Those do only come in foil, and I think they I think they will have cold foil versions, but will mainly be found in Rainbow Foil. And of course the Fabled, but the Fabled is something like one in every 40 cases or something like that. So it would be insane to get that, but even in Rainbow, I doubt we will. Alright, let's just start opening. Oh, so these do have the, uh, the paper packs, like... Everfest did. So this is a token card at the back. Tokens are usually double-sided. And then we start off with some commons. All Flesh and Blood packs are different in where the rares and stuff are placed. So we start off with a couple of commons. And then we hit our first rare here. So yeah, the, so these dragons, these are double-sided cards. I've seen these listed on, uh, on the website. Oops, I actually missed a rare. We had two rares in a row there, so that's one of our rares, and this is the second one. These dragons, they also do have extended versions, uh, double-sided, and the extended versions are some of the cards that would only come in cold foil in the set. At least that's what the website looks like, unless it's lying to me. And then we have a rainbow foil. Every pack is going to have a rainbow foil. So this is of a common. This is Rake the Embers. And then we have just more commons. Actually, I don't know what's good or bad to pull, like, in terms of rares and stuff. 
you know, I'm sure there's a lot of you watching this video and just going to be screaming at it, saying, oh, you pulled something insane, when I uh, had no idea. So I guess if we're opening from the from that side, we're going to know straight away if we've got the cold foil, because it's going to replace the token, which... Oh, there are two tokens. Okay. So there are two tokens at the back of the pack, so I guess one of them can be replaced by a cold foil. All right. There's, be there's other good stuff again as well as cold foils. So that's just one of the terms I know from Flesh and Blood. All right, so our rares are Rapid Reflex and Succumb to Winter. And then we have a Foil Polar Cap. Also, in Flesh and Blood, you will see the same card multiple times with different collector numbers. And they have different colours and dots here. That is something to do with the game. I believe it's like how much mana and stuff they produce. You can get red, yellow, and blue. And I think the most of the commons and rares will come in both versions, but don't quote me on that. As I say, I've done a little bit of flesh and blood opening. I'm not a big uh, collector of it or anything just yet, and I haven't actually gotten around to playing it yet. This was very much just me deciding to have a uh, a bit of fun, do something a little bit different. All right, what have we got in this one? Oh, we've got a Rapid Reflex again, but was that... Aha, was that different? Yes, it was. Okay, so in our last pack, the Rapid Reflex we got was red and had one little dot up here, and then this one is blue and has three dots. So you see, this one is number 162, this one is 164, and I'm assuming 163 would be the yellow version of it. As it happens, we've got a yellow version of Strategic Planning, which I think joins a long list of cards where... Cards from different card games have the same name, because I know there's a card called Strategic Planning in Magic also. And then our rainbow foil for this one is a Lava Vein Loyalty. That one looks kind of cool. And then we'll go through the rest of the commons. And then, yeah, two tokens at the end again. This token looks really cool. Looks really cool. It's got a dragon on it. Laura likes dragons, so... She will like the set. The set is very heavily dragon-based, it seems. There's a... One of the classes does stuff with dragons. Okay, so we're seeing a regular flesh and blood pack uh, back of the card as we open the pack. So that could mean it is a cold foil, or it could mean it's a token that's not double sided. Because sometimes the tokens are not. Usually um, it's if it's like a token you would get to play in your deck. Because some of the tokens you put in your deck to just fill them out in draft, that's a thing. And there's also checklist cards in this set because of the double faces. Could be any of those. We'll see it in just a few seconds when I actually get around to it. But whereas we have Flex, and we have Findor's Fighting Spirit, and then our Foil, we have a Billowing Mirage. That one looks very cute. And... What did I say cute? It's got a big scary dragon on it. I'm used to using the word cute for Pokemon cards, so... Alright, tokens. And yeah, it is just a token that does not flip. And then... Oh, two copies of the same token that does not flip. Let's see if I can get myself into a more of a coherent mindset. But if you watch my videos regularly, you'll know that ain't gonna happen. Alright, what have we got? In this pack we have got... So we have Succumb to Winter. Oh, and we have our first Majestic. So Majestic is the next step up from Rare. So you will get a few of these per box. Every box is guaranteed to get a handful of Majestics. Um, Majestics are the highest rarity that still come in non-foil, because the Legendaries will only come in Rainbow or Cold Foil, or Fabled, just the same. So Majestics are, the, as I say, the highest rarity in which you can still get non-foils, which is what we've got here. And then our foil is an Aether Dart. These all look really cool, too. The the art on Flesh and Blood is really, really nice. I'm a huge fan of it. And there's that token again. Honestly, the only reason I've been... I was ever tempted to even look at Flesh and Blood was just because of how sweet a lot of the artwork is. I think they did a really, really good job. And then, obviously, they did a very nice tournament structure and stuff. Uh, whoops. You know, they basically took over the tournament structure after Magic stopped doing all of their big events or scaled them back and... I just heard all really good things. Right, we've got a Mountain Anger. Oh, another Majestic. We've got a Fog Down. And we have a Foil Rare. We have a Foil Sift. Very cool. So yeah, I just heard a lot of good things about the tournaments. That they were treating the players really well. Treating all of their... Uh, like the people they gave the preview cards to and stuff. A lot of the Magic players went over to them. So... Definitely had to check them out. 
Okay. There are, what, 24 packs in this box? Actually, doesn't really help set on how many I've opened yet, because I'm not keeping track. Okay. Oh, first rare is a Sigil of Permafrost. That's a really nice looking card. I really like that one. I need to keep my arms centered. What am I doing? And Invoke Femi. This is, again, one of the, uh, the double-faced ones. I know, I recognize the dragons because I looked at the set list a little bit earlier. But foil Ice Bolt, the foiling on that one is very nice. That's really cool. Okay. And then, what else we got? Just some tokens again towards the end of the pack. Okay. Oh, Stoke the Flames, that's the name of a magic card too. We've got a Sift as one of our rares, which we just got a foil of. Although, not, don't remember if it was the same colour. Uh, Invoke Necrea, which is, again, a nice double-faced card. And our rainbow foil is a Ronin Renegade. And then... It's just tokens. I'm sure I'm going to be, like, crazy hyped when we actually hit a cold foil at the back of the pack. Even if it's not a good one. <laughs> And I probably won't know if it's a good one or not, unless... I think it, I think some of them are common, so I think I know if it's common, it's not a great uh, cold foil. Gotta rise up, transmogrify, a dampen, so another foil rare, very nice. And then... Oh, oh so there's our checklist card, so if you have any of the, the double-faced... Dragons, and you want to play them in limited, has a regular card back, so you just mark off which one you've got. I mean, you're all smart people, you know how checklists work. You know what they're for. So that you can play unsleeved, which no one does, ever. Right, what have we got in this one? Got an engulfing flame wave, a rapid reflex, Foil Sweeping Blow, that looks really cool. A lot of the times with the Rainbow Rares, they highlight certain aspects to be in foil, and it always looks really good. They've really got a good foil and process down here with these rainbows. I say that. The uh, foil and process for the cold foils ain't bad either. You know, it's uh... They've done it well. They've done it well. Okay, what do we got? It's another Engulfing Flame Wave, but again, I think a different one. A Phoenix Form, this is another Majestic that we've got. Our Rainbow is a Rebellious Rush. Some other cool stuff, what else have we got? Is it just tokens at the end? Is is just tokens at the end. Alright, this is going to be the halfway point of the box, so... Hopefully, halfway point is going to give us something nice, but could be... Could be anything, who knows. Well, it's a Rise from the Ashes, it's one of our rares. A, another Invoke card, this one is o Ovia. Ovia. And again, same artwork on both sides. Um, the extended versions, which are the ones that only come in cold foil, I believe, have extended artwork of this, this art, just extend down, and then a completely different artwork on the back. Um, so that would be what I'd like to get, but that is unlikely. I have an Ice Bind as our Rainbow Foil. That one looks really cool. Keep saying really cool. They all look really cool. And just some more Phoenix Flames and tokens and stuff. It's weird that because of the cold foils, I'm giving uh, more of a, a look at the token slot than I am for just the, the actual regular commons and stuff from the set, but that's how it is. Got a Flex. And the same Invoke card again. Ooh, and a Cold Snap Rainbow Foil. Gonna resist saying it looks cool. Even if it does. Got Ice Bind, which we'd already just seen in foil, which is nice. Alright. So, from speaking to people who've already opened them, I know I'm going on about cold foils a bit. I think every box has at least one cold foil. I don't think anyone had opened a box without any cold foils yet, so. Got Strategic Planning, a Flex, a Foil Rebellious Rush. So, I think these. Brain Freeze, that's a magic card, hey! These, I think, will, we're getting, like, this duplicate rares. It seems like duplicate rares and duplicate foils, but because I said of the three different versions, it probably means we're getting different ones. I just haven't been checking. Oh my god, so... 
So this is a cold foil. So this is one of the invoke cards. So as you can see, it extends the art a lot further down. Oh, and it has like a little triangle as the symbol rather than an actual rarity. And then... Wow. Okay, so it's it's new artwork, but it's the same artwork on both sides, and then one of them is full art for when it invokes, it's extended, and then when it's there, it's full. So I did say I would love to hit one of the dragons in cold foil, and we did. That is such a good-looking card. Oh my god. Wow. That is really pretty. You know what, if this ends up being our one cold foil for the box, then I will not complain about that. Let me try and get it into a sleeve real quick. Alright, it's in the sleeve there, we'll look at it a bit more. I'll go through some of the good pulls and stuff at the end, as I usually do, so we'll look at it again then, but... Wow. That's so nice. Alright, hard to know how we're gonna top that. <laughs> the rest of the box. Might just be downhill from here. Got a sigil of permafrost. Hey, another uh, invoking dragon. The dragon that we just got in Coalfoil, I don't think we've seen that dragon just as a regular yet, because I was going to compare the arts if we had, but I don't think we did. Going to read the ripples as our rainbow foil. Keep going to the tokens. I don't think we're... Even if we get another cold foil, it's not going to be as good as that. <laughs> I honestly don't even know if the the dragons are, like, playable in Constructed, so that people would actually want the cold foils, or, you know, anything. I don't know if they're even valuable, but as someone who would purely be collecting this game, stuff like that is what I'm looking for. Alright, we're going to sift and a dampen. A foil blaze headlong. Alright. Still just buzzing about that dragon. Alright, let's keep it going. Let's keep opening some more cool cards. What have we got now? It is a Rapid Reflex. Ooh, another Majestic. We've got a Freezing Point. And a Foil Skittering Sands as well. Very nice. I don't know if I should be just reading out the names of the cards, but I'm not going to read every card name. Definitely not starting now. Sigil of Permafrost. Uh, another Invoke, and still not the one <laughs> that we pulled the cold foil off, so I can compare. Uh, another Rainbow Rare Ice Bolt. Still looks very cool, but as I said before, probably actually a different Ice Bolt. But it might not be. I haven't actually checked. Alright, six packs left, so we are three quarters of the way through. So I think that I think there is still a chance we'd get another cold foil and it'd be some common. Ooh, we haven't seen any version of this yet. This is Eisenhower Weathervane is our rare. I like that one. This might be one where Oh, we'll get to this in a sec. This might be one where the rare there is only one version as opposed to all three. But hey. We can now compare because we got our regular version of this same card. So it is actually the same artwork. It doesn't have new artwork. It is just extended here and then completely full art on the back. And I've said so many times that cold foil looks gorgeous. I mean, the regular card looks really nice too. Um, I do like dragons inherited from my wife. Uh, we've got silent stilettos in foil. And dragons are just easy to make look really, really sweet in card art. I promise you, if I open more flesh and blood in future, I'll get more coherent than this, and I'll, you know, start to form proper thoughts about the game and not just blabber on seeing some cards for the first time. Got a flex, a mounting anger. Ooh, we got a foil majestic. This is a tome of duplicity. That's a nice one. Got a foil majestic there. We'll definitely take something like that. Now, Cracked Bauble. So this is the one I was expecting when you see tokens with the uh, regular Flesh and Blood back. Pa back? Oh my god. Because this just goes into your deck. As it says, you can put it in, in booster draft and seal formats, add as many as you want, 
in order to be able to get up to a 30 card minimum deck. A lot of the uh, the double face tokens are r really a pain if you're actually trying to fully collect the set because there's so many different combinations of uh, you know front and back. Like the same front can have three or four different backs and they don't always match up. Like that back can then be with that one or with some others. So if you're actually trying to really finish the set, like completely get every variant, it's a bit of a pain. But at least they're tokens, so they're not expensive. Anyway, Ice Eternal. Ooh, another Majestic. We've got a Thor. That is a really nice artwork. And a Foil Dune Breaker Senapai. Alright, that was a nice pack. Three packs to go, and then I'll do a quick recap of all the good stuff that we pulled. I wonder what I'll be showing off last. As if I haven't been talking about it for ten minutes. Alright, what we got? It is a Red Hot. Ooh. Another Majestic, an Uprising. I'll take that. Hey, and a Foil Red Hot to go with our regular Red Hot. Nice little Foil Rare and Matching Rare pack. Okay. Alright. Second to last pack. What have we got? It's an Engulfing Flame Wave... And invoking that same dragon again. And a foil breaking point. Alright, final pack. Are we going to get a second cold foil of some... Well, a cold foil of some uh, little common equipment, as I imagine it will be if we get a second one. But let's see. Let's see what we get. Alright, we want a transmogrify rare. A dampen. A foil mounting anger. And we'll get the rest of the commons out of the way before we get to the token slot. Is it going to be... It's just two tokens. Alright, let's go over the good stuff from the box. Okay, so. Majestics we'll go through first. Um, I think we got was it six Majestics plus a foil Majestic. Um, majestics, because there are two rare slots in the pack, you will get more bumped up things, more upgrades more often than you would in a lot of other games, just because it's only taking one of the two rare slots. But to recap, there are Majestics, we've got we get Uprising, Thor, Freezing Point, Phoenix Form, Fog Down, Spreading Flames, Foil Tome of Duplicity, and then what was that? Oh yeah, Cold Foil Invoke Vincerac. Sirakai. I wish it'd be more than an easier name. With the gorgeous full art on the back. Well, I can certainly say that I'm happy I bought this box and made this video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy as well. Hopefully you'll join me again soon for some more videos. Could be Pokemon. Could not be. Could be more weird stuff like this. I said weird stuff like this. It's a new card game. Could be more non-Pokemon stuff, even though it's mainly Pokemon on here. That was a run-on rambling sentence, so I'm going to stop it now and say thanks again for watching, and if you decide to come back, I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Check out some more videos right here. And don't forget to subscribe for more awesome content from DJ Gigabyte. Gotta, Gotta catch, catch them all! all. <laughs>